Complement Absorption Theorem. Complement Absorption Theorem says that any time we have complements all together and one of them is ended with something else, that complement is supposed to be dropped out. Let's take a look at this formula. We have complements A and A0. Both of them are odd, but A0 is ended with B. That's why this complement is supposed to be dropped out. That's why my answer is A or B. Someone can ask, how come? You have to remember the absorption theorem, which says that A or AB is equal A. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to simply replace this A by these two terms. That's why I'm going to have A or AB or A not B has to be equal A or B. Let's check if this is true. I'm going to factorize B from these two terms. Why? Because I'm going to have complements in the parentheses and these two complements are going to cancel each other. So let me copy down A and I'm going to have OR factorize B. Inside of the parentheses I'm going to have A or A naught. It has to be equal A or B. Now, any time we OR complements, the answer from this operation is going to be always 1. So that's why I have A or B times 1 has to be equal A or B. Remember, B times 1 is equal B. That's why I have A or B equals A or B. So this is why A or A naught B is equal to A or B. This is the complement absorption theorem. Let's practice complement absorption theorem. Look at the very first example. I have AND gate and I have NAND. AND and NAND are complements. NAND is ended with C. The complement absorption theorem says that anytime I have complements or together and one of them is ended with something else, that complement is supposed to be dropped out. That's why I'm going to drop out NAND expression. So my answer is going to be A, B or C. Let's do another example. We have OR gate and I have NOR gate. You're supposed to realize that OR and NOR are complements. NOR is ended with C. Okay, the complement absorption theorem says that anytime I have complements or together, but if one of them is ended with something else, that complement is supposed to be dropped out. That's why I'm going to cancel this one out. And my answer is going to be A or B or C. Because all my variables are or together, I can write my answer like A or B or C. Let's do another example. We have A and B naught. And I have A naught or B. These two terms are complements. Someone can ask, how come? Okay, so let me explain this one more time. I have A, B, naught. If you want to find the complement of this expression, you have to simply invert the whole expression. 
and apply the Morgan's theorem. Okay, the Morgan's theorem says, I'm supposed to put R over here, the Morgan's theorem says that we're supposed to cut the bar and change the end to OR. So this is basically what I'm going to do. This is going to be equal to A naught or B naught naught. Now I can continue because I remember that any time I have a variable inverted twice or negated twice, right? These two negations are going to cancel out. That's why I'm going to obtain the answer A naught or B. Now you can see very clear that A and B naught and A naught or B are complements. Now, but this complement is ended with C. That's why I'm going to drop out this complement. That's why my answer is A, B naught, or C. Let's take a look at the ex another example. And we have a very similar story over here. We have B or C naught, and B naught and C. These two terms are complements. Again, someone can ask, how come? Let me explain you. I have B or C naught. If you want to find the complement of it, you're supposed to simply invert this expression. So I have B or C naught invert. Okay? And apply again the Morgan's theorem. I'm going to cut this bar at, the, at this point. Anytime I cut the bar, I have to change the sign. So I'm going to have B naught. I have to change OR to END, and I'm going to have C naught naught. Again, I'm going to negate C twice. That's why these two bars are going to cancel out each other. And my answer is B naught C. Now you can see very clear that these two terms are complements, but this one is ended with D. That's why I'm going to drop out this term. That's why the solution for this problem is going to be B or C naught or D. Now, because I have or inside of the parentheses and or outside of the parentheses, I can ignore the parentheses. That's why my answer is B or C naught or D.